Good morning, and welcome to Channel 74 News. Today is Tuesday, May 10th. I'm McCain Coldsmith. Seniors, we only have two weeks left. I can't wait. I'm Mason Fogelsonger, and I have two years and two weeks left. Don't worry, Mason. Your time will come. The end of the year means looking ahead to next year and the election of new student council officers. Starting tomorrow, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen can vote for next year's officers. Just look for the voting form from Mrs. Yanish. Channel 74 interviewed the candidates running for student council president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. Here's reporters Alex Pletcher and Will Bro with those interviews. Thanks, Mason. Alex and I are here with officer candidates for student council. Candidates for president are Kelsey Davis and Luke Barber. Thanks for joining us today. For each of you, what would make you a good student council president? I think I would be a good student council president because I've been an active member in the student council as well as I am very dedicated and I am ready to put 100% of myself and my time into planning the events that the student council has to offer throughout the year. Great. I feel like I would be a good student council president because I have experience in both student council and being class president for the class of 2025. My goal as president would be to do what is best for the entire school and not just small groups of people. And the final question, what's the biggest issue facing sashes and how would you hope to address it? So the biggest issue from what I've gathered from my peers would be the dress code. I feel it could be adapted to fit the modern day society better. So we would work with student council representatives and come up with a list of things that we could change for it. Then we could take it up to a higher administrator and present the ideas to them. Great, that's great. Uh, one of the biggest issues I have noticed this year is the major decrease in club participation. I would love to get those numbers up by hosting a club fair at the beginning of the year. That's how I would propose to fix it. I think that this would not only help the students that are here currently make new friends and also find a group of people who have the same interest as them um, to have that community surrounding them, but also it will help the freshmen that are coming from the middle school feel more connected and more confident in their first year here at the high school. That sounds awesome. That thank you guys very much. Yeah, thank you. Candidates for Vice President are Logan Snyder and Jessa Stoops. Thanks for joining us today. For each of you, what would make you a good student council vice president? Um, I am willing to show the best qualities of my peers and influence others to do the same. I believe I can be someone who can rely on others for support and also support them as well. Thank you so much. Um, I think I would make a great vice president of student council because I've been an active member of for the past five years. I'm very hardworking and I work well with others. Great. All right. And the final question, what's the biggest issue facing sashes and how would you help address it? I think the biggest issue with sashes is that there's not a lot of activities that we all get together and enjoy the little time we have. I care a lot about my peers' high school experiences and making it the best years. Wonderful. Um, I believe the biggest problem is the lack of budget in the school that is required for projects like new supplies and also the stadium. Um, I believe more fundraisers that, that would help with building the budget and aside from the usual food order forms. And some of these fundraisers would include stuff like, like recreational games like the service dog and also stuff that interacts with the Stevensburg community more. Alright, thank you guys for your time. Good luck. Candidates for a secretary are Alyssa Snyder and Alana Haynes. Thank you for joining us today. And what would make you a good secretary of student council? I think I would make the best student council secretary because I've been an active member for five years. And for two of those years, I have served as secretary. Great. I am an earnest and dedicated student. I am very organized and responsible. And I am willing to put 100% into this position. That's great. Now, what do you think is the biggest issue that Sashes faces right now? I personally think that student mental health is a really big concern of mine, and I'd like to combat this by providing more services for students to talk with other students, since some of them don't feel comfortable talking with uh, other adults about their issues. So I want to work with student council and the administration to create 
more groups in the school for students to feel comfortable talking with about their mental health. That's great. I think the biggest issue at Sashes is the lack of involvement in our clubs. I think clubs are a great, great way for students to feel included and involved in something. And so I think with Student Council, I can reach a large amount of students and inform them about the clubs that we have and how they can get involved and feel included. All right. Thank you guys very much for your time. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Thank you. All right. Candidates for Treasurer are Zach Barber and Victoria Kalp. Thanks for joining us today. Victoria, what would make you a good student council treasurer? Well, I've completed all my math credits. Um, I'm in high uh, math classes, and I've also had treasury experience. Uh, I would be a good student council treasurer because I've had past treasurer experience, and I'm financially responsible. I've also been in cashier positions in past jobs. Right. And since the treasurer deals with money, what's the best use of student council funds? I think the best use of student council funds should be uh, used towards things like um, homecoming and different student events that um, student council has put together. All right. I think the best use of student council funds would be towards student events like homecoming and also departments like music, the art department, and sports. Thanks for your time today. Best of luck to all the student council candidates. Back to you guys. Thanks for that report, and best of luck to all the candidates. Last week, AP Environmental Students and the Environmental Club represented sashes at the Cumberland County Envirothon. First place in current issues, Morgan Deal, Gabby Bauer, Ansley Darhauer, and Alex Pletcher. Second place in Forestry and Soils, Eddie Barrett, Danny Kennedy, Thane Stein, Felipe Castro, and Jackson Funson. And third place in Soils, Abby Brink, Abby Meehan, Kendall Cedars, and Alyssa Brown. Attention juniors, are you interested in running for a senior class officer position for next year? If so, look for an email from Mrs. Kaufman and sign up today. Congrats to the baseball team on their sixth win in a row. The boys beat Greencastle 2-1 on Thursday. Baseball senior night is tomorrow at home versus Waynesboro. Our boys track team kept their dominance at the Stan Morgan Invitational in Carlisle. Dakota Arana took another first in the high jump. Spencer Eddy won both long jump and triple jump. Carter Funk took first in javelin with a throw of 159 feet. Anthony Smith took second in the shot put and Jackson Funson took second in discus. And finally, today is school lunch hero day. Thank you to all the cafeteria workers who keep us fed and happy. And here they are to take us home. See you on Thursday. Three. Stay classy, Shippensburg. Move around a lot. I could get the jitterbugs out. It's a little. Mason Fogelsanger. And I am McCain Coldsmith. Thank you. It's okay. You got this. And treasurer. Here's Alex Reporter. Here's <laughs> Alex. All right. Best of luck to you guys. Back, oh, I messed that up. That's on Sorry. me.